Okay, my first picture is my Sunderland days, quite a few years ago. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time at Sunderland and it probably helped me develop and become the player that I am today. So I am thankful for my, as it says in the hashtag here, Sunderland family. I don't think I've changed my celebration since then. Still do this when I get a little bit excited. Um, this was actually in the Euro Under-19 finals. This was a semi-final against Finland and I actually scored my uh, two goals in this game to get us to the final help get us to the final, should I say, and as you can tell, I was pretty happy about it. Yeah, in the final, I, from memory, think we got beat 2-0, um, probably only had a few chances. We were probably running around after France for most of the game who we were playing. Obviously, probably disappointed, but super proud of the team at the time. We probably weren't expected to get there and we come away with a silver medal, so it was a good platform to start as an England player. Okay, this is um, wow, well, questionable haircut from me. Uh, <laughs> celebration um, in the changing room. We just beat um, Finland 5-1, and I think that helped us qualify for the Euros that year. Millie Turner, like this, who's in the squad actually? You've just seen that. Was Millie Turner on there? Oh my god, yeah. Please look at this, Millie Turner, with her questionable bangs at the front. Ah, <laughs> she's gonna kill me for this. You might recognise some of these faces. Baby faces, should I say. Me and Leah Williamson. Me and Leah, obviously, we've known each other for a long time. How old are we even now? This is terrible. I wouldn't say nearly, nearly 10 years now. We've probably known each other through youth, then obviously being at Arsenal for four years with us, so we've grown quite close in that time, and we were quite close then, which was 2014. Leah actually really rates herself in this picture, so you want to speak to her after that, but I think I look better. Now this is where I, this must have had my chubby phase, wow. Sunderland actually had quite a difficult time of not meeting the criteria originally when WSL1 started, so we obviously got put into WSL2 at that time. So we wanted to prove a point to get into WSL1 and kind of show that we belong to be there. And I think I probably made my best impression when we got promoted with Sunderland, obviously not a team that was expected to do well in the league, but yeah, I was top scorer in the league that season, my first season in WSL1. Sunderland actually were at top of the league at one point and we beat Chelsea, we were unbeaten at that time. So that's when I kind of thought I can compete at this level and hopefully do what I can to try and get involved with England. And lucky, lucky enough for me to this day, I've managed to get here. Okay, my first picture is my Sunderland days, quite a few years ago. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time at Sunderland and it probably helped me develop and become the player that I am today. So I am thankful for my, as it says in the hashtag here, Sunderland family. I don't think I've changed my celebration since then. Still do this when I get a little bit excited. Um, this was actually in the Euro Under-19 finals. This was a semi-final against Finland and I actually scored my second, uh, two goals in this game to get us to the final help get us to the final, should I say, and as you can tell, I was pretty happy about it. Yeah, in the final, I, from memory, think we got beat 2-0, um, probably only had a few chances. We were probably running around after France for most of the game who we were playing. Obviously, probably disappointed, but super proud of the team at the time. We probably weren't expected to get there and we come away with a silver medal, so it was a good platform to start as an England player. Okay, this is um, wow, a questionable haircut from me. Uh, <laughs> celebration um, in the changing room. We just beat um, Finland 5-1, and I think that helped us qualify for the Euros that year. Millie Turner, like this, who's in the squad, actually. You've just seen that. Was Millie Turner on there? Oh my God, yeah. Please look at this, Millie Turner, with her questionable bangs at the front. Ah! <laughs> She's gonna kill me for this. You might recognise some of these faces. Baby faces, should I say. Me and Leah Williamson. Me and Leah, obviously, we've known each other for a long time. How old are we even now? This is terrible. I wouldn't say nearly, nearly 10 years now. We've probably known each other through youth, then obviously being at Arsenal for four years with us, so we've grown quite close in that time, and we were quite close then, which was 2014. Leah actually really rates herself in this picture, so you want to speak to her after that, but I think I look better. 
Now this is where I, this must have had my chubby phase, wow. Sunderland actually had quite a difficult time of not meeting the criteria originally when WSL1 started, so we obviously got put into WSL2 at that time. So we wanted to prove a point to get into WSL1 and kind of show that we belong to be there. And I think I probably made my best impression when we got promoted with Sunderland. Obviously not a team that was expected to do well in the league, but yeah, I was top scorer in the league that season, my first season in WSL1. Sunderland actually were at top of the league at one point and we beat Chelsea, we were unbeaten at that time. So that's when I kind of thought, I can compete at this level and hopefully do what I can to try and get involved with England and lucky, lucky enough for me to this day I've managed to get here. Yeah this was the PFA award, this was the year I won young PFA player and got to meet quite a few talented footballers along the way but yeah Frank Lampard was uh, someone I watched a lot growing up so I was pretty happy to get a picture with him. This was such a random trip. Okay, this is me at Coronation Street. I went there with, on a on a bus trip with my mum, my gra, and my auntie to yeah the Coronation Street set to Manchester for the day, and then uh, played bingo with them that night in a hotel. And probably, I mean, I love this trip. I love my family, and yeah, it was a really nice time for me to kind of get a little bit of time away with them. And I was a big Coronation Street fan. Couldn't tell you what's happening in it anymore, but used to watch it every night with my mum when I lived at home. So. It was quite a nice memory for me and my family. So this is actually one of my favourite football photos ever. It actually brings a lot of memories back. Um, yeah, we were playing Notts County. Um, I think I had a million chances to score in that game, put us at head. Absolute sitters, missed most of them. Was getting quite frustrated with myself and then I think I managed to pick up the ball on the edge of the box. Give some quick feet and then, yeah, luckily enough, scored the hardest chance of the game, put it top bins and helped us win 2 1 in that game for Sunderland. But I remember when I hit the ball, just turning straight to my family and running towards them. In the pitch, you can see how excited all my family are my mum, my dad, and my brother, and them were squished out of the way in this one. But yeah, that was a really nice memory for me and my family. Okay, this next picture yeah, is a very, very proud moment for me in my career. It is uh, my debut against Wales in the World Cup qualifiers. I don't look too excited on this picture, but I was very excited and probably very nervous at the same time. Um, we were playing at Southampton in front of 30,000 fans and, you know, I was kind of coming on to try and make a difference in that game. Unfortunately, we drew nil-nil and obviously the girls were quite gutted about that, but obviously it was a very proud day for myself. The background noise you can hear is Millie and Rachel being very loud. You're interfering with my work, you. You're interfering. Okay, this was meant to be a really nice England picture and someone squeezed their way into it. I'm, you can guess the person who squeezed their way into it is not English in there. But yeah, really proud moment. I think obviously winning WSL2 was a really proud moment for me, but WSL1 is probably what every person wants to do. And, I'm lucky enough to have done that uh, with some amazing teammates and an amazing team. This one is for Papa Snapper. Yeah, I mean, it just again shows how proud and yeah I am to play for my country and I actually scored a goal against Belgium in this game. Yeah, every goal and every minute I play for England is super proud and a super, super big honour for me to, to be able to do and wear this badge. Oh. This is my baby girl, Rona. Rona Mead. Uh, yes, her name is Rona from Corona. Born during Corona, so me and my family decided to call her Rona and it fits her quite well. This was when, I think she was something like four weeks old, so she's tiny and actually fits in a food bowl in this picture, but we, we love her to bits. She's wild, working Cocker Spaniel, but yeah, we wouldn't have her any other way. Maybe a lot of us are quite familiar with this. This was my Watt Bike Sessions during lockdown. My face does not look happy about it but I actually was injured, I'd done my MCL um, during this period so I couldn't do a lot of running so I was doing a lot of what bike sessions and I think at this point I was quite done with doing bike work but yeah um, it was keeping me fit um, during that time, yeah kept me a little bit sane throughout my injury as well. Okay this is a very big smile on my face in this one, she believes cup winners, the caption says still smiling, I'm probably still smiling about thinking about this now but it was a great tournament, great opposition, Japan, Brazil and USA and we managed to win that so yeah, a very proud moment for us as a team and for myself who 
managed to score a few goals in that tournament. I think this is when I inv apparently invented the crot. No, you can't get bored of the crot. No one can get bored of the crot. I think uh, one of the West Ham girls scored the other day and I got loads of mentions in my comments to rate it. But hers was a pretty good, pretty good crot from a good distance, so I'll give her that one. Okay, I actually really like this picture. She probably hates me for it. Um, this is, um, again, just before lockdown when me and Kim were rehabbing. Um, we were pushing each other a lot in rehab. She's working hard here and I'm just being annoying in the background, but that's mine and Kim's relationship. Um, I'm the annoying one and she's the one who just puts me in my place. Um, but she was an amazing person to do rehab. She pushed me every day and helped me come back stronger. So during a tough time, we turned it into a positive thing and, you know, came be better, fitter and stronger. So she was a great person to do rehab, but obviously wish, wish we weren't both injured at that time. One of the pitches against Germany at Wembley uh, in front of, I think I've got it in here, 77,000 people. We didn't get the win, unfortunately, but um, the amount of people that came to support us was ridiculous. The atmosphere was unbelievable and super proud to be part of such a, an amazing occasion and an amazing game. And yeah, probably when I was playing there at Sunderland on not the greatest pitches, playing and training two times a week. You probably don't envision yourself playing in front of 77,000 people at Wembley, so it's an amazing feeling. And yeah, it's just quite happy that my hard work paid off to get to this point and knowing that these dreams can come true.